Let's talk about ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot. We've talked with a lot of people who are trying to figure out what's the differences between the two and when should I use one versus the other? Should I use both? Should I only use one? When does it make sense to use Copilot? And when does it make sense to use ChatGPT? So hopefully today you're gonna to walk away with an understanding of what they are, that they're really similar in a lot of ways, that there are some distinct features, and hopefully most of all, when you should be using one over the other. So in first looking at some of their similarities, let's talk about, I'd say four key things of where they're really similar Similar, where they're doing very much the same thing. The first is that they can both understand and generate text, images, code, different types of documents. They both do that and they both do that really well. They both use both web and mobile apps. They both have a free and a paid subscription. Both use the latest AI models from OpenAI. Now Microsoft does have some proprietary stuff within that as well, but they've invested massively into OpenAI, so it'd be silly to think they don't use it at all. So now let's talk about some of the differences between ChatGPT and Microsoft Copilot. So one of the biggest differences that you're gonna know right off the bat with one being from Microsoft and the other not is that if you're using Copilot, you're gonna see and notice how well it integrates within the Microsoft ecosystem. And the thing of that is it, it really is a big feature and distinction that ChatGPT just doesn't have. There's some integration, but it's very minimal when you compare it to Copilot. And so if you're already existing in the Microsoft ecosystem, whether you're for personal use or business, you're gonna see the difference and the benefit of using Copilot. Whether it's writing and drafting an email, whether it's wording a document or creating a template, whether it's getting creative and putting in new PowerPoint slides, whatever it might be that you're using, if you're already in the Microsoft stack, Copilot is going to make a lot of sense for you. Now, ChatGPT, on the other hand, I would say has a lot of things that Microsoft doesn't necessarily have just yet, or have maybe to the extent that ChatGPT does. So for example, with ChatGPT, you're gonna get, in my opinion, some better web and search functionality. So oftentimes when I've compared the two, I've noticed that when I'm whatever input that I'm putting in, if it's not directly tied to Microsoft, the output that I'm getting from ChatGPT, it has more data, it's worded better, it seems more natural in its wording. And so for me, I will often default to ChatGPT for that reason, unless again, I'm doing something already within the Microsoft stack because then it integrates and works and functions so well. I also like that it has a more advanced desktop version that I can utilize. And especially when you start using the paid version of ChatGPT, some of the things that are unlocked for you, not just that I would say to do it from a security perspective, because that is a major component, but some of the things you're able to do within it just seem to be much more advanced at a high level, I'll say for now, than what you see within Copilot. So those are really some of the big differences. So when should you decide to use one over the other? You might've already kind of made that decision for yourself. If you're in the Microsoft system and you're in it every single day, Copilot is gonna make a lot of sense for you. But if you're not, and if you're looking for something that actually operates outside of the Microsoft stack, and I think is gonna give you a better output for a lot of what you're putting into it, I think ChatGPT is gonna make more sense. They both again have free and paid versions, so there's not really gonna be a distinction there. The pricing is fairly similar when you're looking at feature to feature comparison between those two. Now here's the reality, I use both. And I think that's gonna be the case for a lot of people because for me, there's scenarios where again, it makes sense to use Copilot and it makes sense to use ChatGPT. So I don't think that it's often gonna be one versus the other. It's not gonna be an either or, it's gonna be a both and is what you're gonna offer and see. If you've liked this content, what we would just love for you to do is to like and subscribe to our channel as you're going to receive additional content that we put out all the time with information like you just had here.